fuck me, am I really doing another video on this kid? <laughs> Alright, so some of you may remember my last video on Jacob, and honestly I wasn't going to be making this second video about him, but then something like happened, so now here I am and I'm making the video, and the last time that I made the video, Jacob had left a comment on my video, and it was saying about how he feels sad but when people hate on him, and like when he gets all this shit from people, right? And obviously he was looking for sympathy right there, but considering he couldn't argue against the strong facts in my video after, Right? Unfortunately, he deleted his comments like a little bitch, so unfortunately, I can't show you that. I do have a screenshot of it somewhere, and when I do find that, I will be tweeting it out on my Twitter, so I will link that down below, or I'll just make him. I don't really want to make another video about it, so yeah, I'll tweet it out. In this video, I'm not going to be looking so deeply into his content like last time. I lean mean more towards like his fans, and usually they're they're either like five years old trying to be a big YouTube star with his shout out Sundays, or they're brainwashed by his absolute bullshit promises and bull and like absolute hypocritical ways. So this dude left a comment on on the video that I'd done just before. I'll leave like the screenshot on the screen. And it explains some of like his bullshit and unfortunately the guy's grammar wasn't the best, like and the spelling so like you can't really make out what he's saying too much but you can just just about get there just sort of understand it so as a generalization for his fans they either can't take this feedback about their beloved youtuber and begin to spew shitty insults at you or they leave the most brain dead comments like i've ever seen in my life these comments revolve around stating that you have less subs than jacob so you aren't allowed to criticize him like fuck off that is honestly the most dumbest thing i have ever heard in my life sub count is completely irrelevant if someone is misleading and making fucked up videos and scamming people it doesn't matter who it comes from it needs to be addressed another popular comment is the you're just jealous comment which is such a five-year-old thing to say like i'd rather make content that isn't clickbait and misleading and have less sub counts and less views than to lose respect for myself by scamming and misleading my supporters the your supporters are what get you there at the end of the day if you think about it now not all of them are stupid like these people take this person for example they started out with the typical bullcrap of mentioning subs and views, but after debunking that with them and after saying my opinion and uh, showing them the light a bit, they just replied with, okay, I respect your opinion. And for that comment, I have a little bit of respect for them now. Now, others of his fans may just be people who are his friends trying to promote his black plague of a channel in return for a shout out if they suck up to him enough. To those people, I say it's not too late, it ju you don't have to keep spreading this crap. I think you all know it's misleading and it's messed up, but you are so desperate for that shout out, you will do it. Like, those subs you got, got right? Go check right now, those subs that you got from your shout out, go check right now. Are they all active? Are they all active? Not for just one video, or two videos. Do the, are they consistently active to you? Do they leave helpful comments, not just stuff like "oh, cool video" or "nice video," like non-helpful comments? Because those commenters are only there because they think if they comment on all the winners once and sub, they will get a shitty shout out next time. Just let let that sink in and check your own channel. Just just let that sink in. Now, on my last video about Jacob, a viewer left a comment saying that Jacob went to his school and was a dickhead. And the video was and the video was good, like he was saying that my video was good or whatever. Jacob had found this comment and he replied to this person with thanks. To that the viewer put no problem. After that, Jacob claims he needs to speak to him on Skype and congratulates him on one thousand subs. Jacob leaves his Skype name, I have removed the comment of where he left his Skype name, like he just left his Skype name in a separate comment, so I removed that comment so that, uh, to respect his privacy so no one goes and spams him, because obviously he's quite, he has got more, he's, he's got a fair amount of subs and you know, people like that, you don't want your Skype and that getting out, so I've removed the comment for him, and the viewer says okay, and like adds him, proceeds to add him on Skype, and nothing comes back ever since, 
So now I'm left to wonder, did Jacob word his way around this, around it to the viewer to change his point of view? Or did the viewer put up a fight and stick to his statement? But that we will never know. And that's what I call the mystery of the viewer. I touched on this slightly in my last video, but it's got much, much worse now. We all know little Jakey loves to spam his famous spam scam comments and spam comments, you know, all the same really, scam comments, that many people have done, including people like Morgs and other trashy content creators. His new comments that he leaves was brought up to me by another YouTuber who left a comment again on my last video, uh, screenshot on screen, on Jacob. So I went over to this guy's channel and I scrolled down to the comment section and in the comment section of the video I found this like like I just I just found this just take a look Oh my god Jakey what the fuck are you doing what are you doing like can you see how this comment makes the person think they've specifically chosen them and how he makes it seem as if he really enjoyed your video but the truth is, he spammed this on a million and one channels, maybe changing a few little things here and there, that hoping that you'll be stupid enough to take the bait. Luckily, more people are starting to wake up and realise what he's doing and not, and like, becoming wise to this trick, because honestly, it's absolute bullshit. Now, like I said earlier, I'm not going to be saying too much about his content, as the last video had a lot about that, and a lot of... Yeah, a lot of the last video I had about his content. I took a look back at his content. I thought, right, what's changed? Anything got better? Um, unfortunately, no, it hasn't got much better. Um, so he's, he's you got to love this video that he's made. It's called GCSE Results 2017. I failed everything. So, well, first of all, he's fucking 14. And if you're wondering how I know that, it's he said it in multiple of his videos. And uh, people from his... Uh, you know, school and that have told me. And most people are the age of 16 when they take their GCSEs, right? They're, they're about 16 when they take their GCSEs, just as a generalization. So already, this video is clickbait. What a surprise. Second of all, I bet the only test he will ever pass is the manipulation test. <laughs> he is still making, and, and believe it or not, he is still making those really bad 3am videos. But I am extremely happy to see that the views on them have decreased since the last time. Maybe not by tons and tons, but it's still progress to saving the human race from this disease. He's still got a collection of calling someone at 3am videos, which le leads on to this because it's from 3am. So he's got a collection of calling someone at 3am, right? But this time, they aren't the normal 3am, you know, boss baby calling, all that bullshit, right? This time... They still consist of fictional characters from Horrid Henry. Oh, for fuck's sake, what are you doing, Jake? <sighs> but here is where the meat of his channel comes in. Welcome to Shout Out Sundayland. This is the place where the people he manipulated by spamming come to really is. Like, this is where, this is where his fucking manipulated viewers are. This is where it's all going down. The most depressing part, really. The video that he made right here is called It's Owen Dish Track, official music video right now. From that title, just looking at that title, you'd expect that to be the dish track, right? The actual full out dish track, you know, he's made the video, he's put Vivo in the bottom left, you know, he's done all that shit that they all do, right? But oh my fucking god, look at this. I'm thinking of doing a diss track, guys. I, mm, I don't know if I should, guys. Probably gonna do a diss track on its own. Jacob, seriously, what are you doing? You are so scummy. You are literally sucking dick at this point to scrape every view you can. Why say it's the official music video when it's just talking about whether you should or not? Oh yeah, views, of course. You know, you, you want that paycheck, don't you, buddy? And it, like... Just take a look at this bit. Now me and Owen are good mates, but at the same time, we always have the slight bit of beef. Who can, who can rap better? 700 likes, I'll drop this track, guys. I'll drop this track off. <laughs> he just has to throw that him and the Owen kid are friends. Just for everybody watching, just to save his ass from the haters, to make sure no hate goes his way or to the other guy's way. Just you, you got to love how he's just got to add that him and them are friends, you know. Just got to add that in there, ain't you? Hey, that's pretty good. It's Jake. 
Jacob the clickbait master uploads fake shit calling Chucky at 3 a.m. fake. The giveaways are fake. Right. So Jacob, I'm, I'm just going to say this right here, guys. Jacob, credit where credit is due. Some of your videos, not all, but a very few, very minority, are edited decently. And if you stop the clickbait and all of the crap that you are doing and worked on making something good for your channel, like good content, you could honestly have potential. Like, if you don't like the bad feedback that you get, rather than calling them haters, work to change your channel, mate. Like, just work to change your channel, make it better, make it something entertaining, that not something sh full of shit and clickbait and scams. Also, I would like to make it very clear that I'm not witch hunting Jacob or comparing myself to him in any way. I am just referring to his content and his fans and his YouTube his YouTube channel in general. I'm not comparing him personally or going at him personally. So just wanted to put that out there for all of you guys so that you don't be like, oh, because I got some really stupid comments in the last one and about like how I was how he's better than me or something i'm like that's not what i was that's not what the video was about obviously some people are a bit dumb in the head they don't understand that but that's it for today guys um i won't be making another video on jake unless one or two things happen that being if he makes a response video which he should at least try to make a valid counter to these facts that i've given in this video or two his content gets better, in which way I will happily make a video changing my opinion of him. And I will, like, maybe even watch a few of his new ones and, you know, give him props for that. But I, I, I don't see that happening, do you? He's, he's too money hungry. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a great day. Peace. <laughs> Box myself. I'm doing this for you. It's Jacob. Derp, 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 derp,